All right, here we are back again into Dig It, a digging simulator. We're into the second episode. It seemed like you guys really liked the first one that we did, but here we are yet again with some more missions to complete. This time, we'll be showing off some new gameplay mechanics, which I've unlocked. I've been playing this game a little bit more, uh, which has meant that I have unlocked uh, this section of missions, at least until I actually buy one of the vehicles that I need for this stuff, but we still need, let's see, 20 more stars and 30 more stars to get into the mines, but well, at least we've gone a little bit further in the game. We can actually go into like a semi town, I guess you'd call it. It's not really as, yeah, well, we'll call it a town. Nothing too major, but nothing too small either. So let's go up with tidy up and clean. Where well, we've got to tidy up and clean. There's a job opening for clearing out the old building site. Let's get it into shape. So all we need is the, ex uh, what is that? Bulldozer? Excavator? Clearly I'm not one into the trucking or the digging terminology. It's a bulldozer, isn't it though? That's what we'll call it. Congratulations on buying a small bulldozer. This level will teach you how to use the bulldozer to move stuff around. You can hide this help at any time by pressing F8 or left bumper, which I'm using the Xbox 360 controller now because it is a lot easier playing the game, as you could probably imagine, with the controller. It's actually a lot more fun as well. So, now what we're going to do is, it does get really finicky though um, with the controller, but uh, there's a lot more options that you have available as well. Like, you can work... Um, each different axle by itself pretty much so I can just get like the turn right it's very interesting to, to see how you drive because it's not like you use just the, a basic thumbstick or anything it's a lot more technical anyways let's go we need to push this or at least these four little things all the way over there in front of us now, there's not much actual space that we can do this in, but we'll try. So what I've got to do is hold both thumbsticks like forward if I want to go forward or if I want to go to the right, so then only press it on or go forward on the right thumbstick. So it can get a bit confusing at all, but once you get the hang of it with the controller, it's much, much easier than just using your keyboard. You could probably imagine. All we need to do though is go ahead and get 100%, which means that we get three stars and we also get a nice amount of moolah as well. Now, moolah is rather important because that means you get to buy some much better vehicles. And we can say no to better vehicles, especially because we need them now for the bigger missions as well. There should be something all the way back over here. Here we go. Right. I think this one's probably just going to be the toughest one for us to get manage it's okay because we have bosses like that actually you know what i might be able to go get two in a row i doubt it it's worth a shot though no i don't want to push the other one too far so like we're stuck because that would not be good i do want to get 100 percent this mission and i've completely missed it now Here we go, 75%. So once you hit 75%, you can finish one of these missions. But we don't want to do that. We want to get 100% and so we get the three stars. Because the stars do end up being rather important. And also so we can get maximum money as well. Alright, 100%. Finish the job to continue. Press X. Alright, so we finished it in less than five minutes. We've got 1,250 coins and we've got three stars. So that was pretty simple. Nothing to it but to do it, I guess. So that's that with a bulldozer. Now there's another mission. There's a couple of missions that you need to create trenches in. They get very, very difficult. Like, the amount of space that you have to work with them is very minimal. So anyways, let's go back with the bulldozer. We've got to clean up the dirt piles. A new garage has been built for the neighborhood. But nobody has cleaned up the site since then. Let's do this. We've got to move the dirt to piles to the piling area. And, well, that doesn't really make sense. I'll show you guys. We've got five minutes to do it in. So, another one of these simple and quick missions where there's nothing really to it. All right. So, on we go. Actually, we need to press the bumper and enter the vehicle now. All right. Now, there is no piling area. Well, the 
compiling error doesn't really seem to matter all that much anyway is what I'm trying to get at so it says start by flattening the excess piles in the area and drive towards the piling area piles in it yeah so move the bucket slightly higher than its normal position and rotate it upwards so higher and upwards like this now drive over the piles and flatten them so I managed to get away doing this mission uh, I'm pretty sure I got three stars here as well um, just by actually just driving over these mounts that works for me unfortunately this thing is a little bit too high for us yet so move this down all right this should be good there we go now we should be flattening things relatively well it doesn't seem like we're really flattening so what you should be doing is getting rid of all the um the dots of course but just lower it Hopefully, we'll start getting some percentages because this is possible. Let's go drive over some other ones then. Maybe it's too low. There we go. We've got 3%. I can't see anything, Captain. Let's just keep driving. Um, what I'll do though is tip this even a bit more. Should make a bit of a difference. Tilting it like that. Now we are flattening it. Again, then. Here we go. Now we're talking. Up to 11%. So, all I had to do was get this up to 100%. So, well, might as well keep on doing it. Because this is like what I got from the mission description. Because they, they tell us to pretty much go ahead and. Um, a little bit okay, back over this because they tell us to put it in the piling area but the piling area like you can't really collect the dirt into your bulldozer there can you it doesn't really seem like it's all that easy so I don't know what they want us to do with that but I can manage to complete this mission using this tactic in the five minutes it takes a little bit of uh, I guess skill to know how much like your angles of the bulldozer arm needs to be at. But other than that though, don't really need to worry about too much else. Unfortunately it does go really slow though. Here we go, come on, keep pressing it down. Got rid of a bit. And what do you know, he's pretty much sore. He's digging it back up. Creating more of a problem. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go reverse this way. And what we'll do is just angle it a little bit differently. It seems like I've pretty much managed to make it much, much worse than uh, it's already been. So, well, anyway, what we'll do is we'll leave this at where it is because we've already done it. So, there's no real point in doing it. Uh, yes, I do want to quit the job. So, how much do I manage to get on that? Yeah, I did manage to get the three stars. Anyways, that's not what we want. We want this. So, what we need is, okay, we need a massive scooper and a truck like that. Let's see how much these vehicles that re require cost sure it's going to be a fair amount so excavator s we've got that but now i think we need the excavator medium for seven thousand um, and how much does this truck cost is that it the grab start with six thousand okay so i guess we need a bit more money actually okay so that means we should be redoing some of these missions which i'll go ahead and do next episode we'll be back with 
the much bigger maps though and much bigger toys to go along with that so hope you guys are staying tuned i'll be making like a couple more update videos of how our campaign is going because it is very repetitive so i won't be doing too much of it uh in terms of just pure gameplay but we'll do a little progress update videos but until next one i'll see you guys later